Turn off. Turn off. Seems like a major issue to me. I, I know it does. Well, it's a major issue. It could be a potential. It's a major potential hazard, but it's. I don't see it as a major issue yeah. because. I see it as a major issue. It's throwing sparks all over the well, place. Yeah, but I mean, we've identified the problem. We've consulted. We know what the issue is, and we can go fix it now. I mean, it's. Yeah. To me, it's not like a that bad of an issue. I don't like messing with electricity. No, he hates electricity. At all. At all. I don't like it. It's scary. <laughs> it can kill you. He's been zapped a couple times and he's like, ooh, electricity. Like, Have you ever been electrocuted? <laughs> I'm not zapped, but... No, I've been full-on electrocuted. Well, I know. Not fun. Yeah. When you've been full-on electrocuted, <laughs> you don't want to be electrocuted anymore. I know, I know. <laughs> But I think you take it a little too far. And when I say full on electrocuted, I mean <laughs> I, I sat on a on a cot. It was self inflicted. And I was screwing around with a piece of medical equipment. <laughs> and it knocked me off of the damn cot. Like launched me off the cot. Luckily it was it was two twenty instead of one ten. Because one ten yeah. will grab a hold of you. Two twenty just shot me off the freaking cot. Yeah. My hands were smoking and stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's, <laughs> my vision of it is funny. <laughs> It'll get your attention. I mean, that happened in Iraq, so I, I yeah. was not able to witness that, but I wish I could have. Anyway, you saw the little clip there of what's going on in our breaker box. I'm going to show you the actual breaker uh, where it clips onto the breaker bar. It's actually charred. We realized this when we kicked on the bedroom air conditioner. Yeah. So kicked on the bedroom air conditioner, when it gets that initial big draw of power, that's when we heard the zapping. Well, I heard the zapping. Mm -hmm. The other air conditioners in here were running, so it's hard to hear. But I was like, I hear something like an arcing electrical sound, like a bzzz, you know? Yeah. And I, I opened up just the door panel of the fuse box, and I couldn't see what was going on. I had uh, Leslie kick on the air conditioner in the bedroom and heard it again. So then I took the whole panel off, did it again. That's where I got the video clip that you saw of the sparks flying and the zapping. And then I pulled the breaker out, and it's toast. So kick, we kicked off all the power on the pedestal. We're going to disconnect this, uh, this breaker. We're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to change it out. We're going to put it back in. We did contact Alliance. Uh, well, we reached out to Alliance. They haven't gotten back to us yet. But I think it's if, Sunday. if we, yeah, it is Sunday. So we change this breaker out and see what happens. If it's our rusty, trusty Mel. Yes, Mel from Mel and Eddie Living Free Zip Code List. Thank you, Mel. He's our go-to. For helping us out. Coach issues. He is a jack of all trades. Yes. And knows all things RV and electrical and all that good yes. stuff. So he so, talked to us how to get it out and see what we're looking for. So we're going to go do all that. I'm going to replace yeah. this breaker. I'll show it to you real quick. And then uh, we, you know, we'll have the, the fire extinguisher standing by for when we plug everything back in and kick the air conditioner back on for the first time I'm serious man and I don't, I don't know if I'll even I, I don't even know for a while if we'll even run that air conditioner while oh we're gone Lord. or while we're out because I don't want to come back and be like a pile of soot <laughs> that once used to be our RV it just freaks me out when man you get spooked you get spooked I'm telling you <laughs> Show you the breaker. Yeah, these all seem tight. All these seem tight, except for this one right here. This second one is loose in there. Now you can see that thing is charred up, man. I guess it didn't have a good connection here onto the onto the breaker bar back there. And it, was, it either bounced around, came a little loose. Uh, once it came a little loose, then it started sparking. You can see where it's burnt there. Um, I don't know how long that would have lasted before it just burst into flame. Um, and I don't know how long it's been doing it. Uh, we haven't run the, um, we haven't run the air conditioner much. It's just now started to get warm enough outside Today to run the nice air conditioner. Today was a nice day. Nice enough to run it. Yeah. So yeah. we've only run it a couple times this season so far, but so it's good that we're catching it early. It's good that we didn't just like turn on all the air conditioners. It's, and, and it's not 90 degrees outside. Yeah. If we had to turn on all the air conditioners and just went to town. It's like 73 today. We might've came back to a pile of ash. Yeah. Um, because that looks pretty serious to me. All right. Got it out. There she is.
All right, we got the new breaker, um, $36. So hopefully this is an easy fix. You can see on the old one where it didn't have any more tension where it clips onto the breaker bar. And so you can see a, a big difference between the old one and the new one. I don't really know much about these. I'm not an electrician, but just by looking at that, I can tell that that's not right. And this one, you, you can see like it even has like a little bit of a play in it, like where some stuff is broken on the inside of it. It's just not tight. Whereas this one is, is good to go. So um, I have the, the wires. I strategically kept them where one was higher than the other. So I know which one to plug into which hole. Um, just a Phillips head screwdriver. You know, let's plug the wires in there. Screw those in tight. And then we will clamp this back into the, to the breaker bar. And then we'll turn everything back on. And hope it works. <laughs> So you can see here, um, all you do is put these wires back in. There's a little hole back there that it goes into. But once it goes into there, you can cinch that uh, the tightness down to crimp onto those those wires with these screws right here. It takes either a, a square head or you can use a, a, a regular screwdriver uh, because it does have the flat edge in there. So either one of those is fine to get that tight. But you want to make sure to get it nice and nice and tight. Just give those those wires a little a little tug. Make sure they're not going to come flying out of there because last thing you want is uh that bouncing out of there and and causing further issues well it's in and you can see now that before when i just push on this it would like slide out it would slide like this far out and so now it's tight like the rest of them i'm going to keep this off for now um, until I, I plug in the uh the pedestal and then i'll come back here i'll kick this breaker back on and then i will have leslie kick on the air conditioner and we'll see if she's throwing sparks like she was before hopefully hopefully not i'm gonna be like way back here <laughs> when i like kick it on like such a wuss <laughs> all right i'm gonna kick this breaker on oh god all right breakers on turn on the air conditioner Air conditioner just kicked on. You probably couldn't hear it, but I could hear it. And there are no sparks, no arcs. Look, I'm practically an electrician. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even want to turn the breaker back on. Look, man, I fix stuff. I'm a fixer. That's what I do. Okay. That's not what you Look, do. I was it's not. What you're forced to do something. Look, I was never even worried. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank I was, I on the other hand was panicking. <laughs> thank you, Mel. Yes, thank you, Mel. We appreciate that. So that was about um, from start to finish, from the time that we identified the issue to solution fixed, $36 later, and about what? An hour. About an hour yeah. of death, everything. Driving to go get the part, taking the old part out, putting the new part in. Yeah. <sighs> I'm happy. What? <laughs> I just, you're, the rest of the night, you're not going to be relaxed. That's, it is going to just frustrate me. <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I do. I'm going to constantly be listening over here for this thing. I've only known you for uh, 28 years. Oh, we lost our house to fire well, before. I know, I know I was there. An electrical <laughs> fire. I know I was there. I don't know how you're not more concerned about the situation. It just... FYI, when we had the electrical fire, he hauled ass and I was left in the Look, apartment. in my defense, okay, <laughs> we had an eight-month-old daughter who can't get herself out. So I grabbed the kid and I haul ass. He, now, he was deuces. I did yell on the way out. <laughs> get out. The house is on fire. <laughs> Might want to think about getting the hell out. <laughs> yeah. So I got, I, I just got the kid. Yeah. Leslie grabs keys to the car. I grab the diaper formula. Bag, formula. <laughs> <laughs> While the house is on fire. I'm in mommy mode. Yeah. I did hit the fire alarm on the way out too, just in, in case, in I case didn't she didn't hear, hear me yell. yelling. But. <laughs> anyway, crisis uh -huh. averted. So let me just clarify. This is not 
a, an alliance issue. This is not a, no. a, a specific a brand of RV issue. This it's, is stuff shakes loose. Yeah, yeah, and we never thought about those. No, not at all. Loose. So thank you to Mel for telling us that they can and they will over yeah. time. So we will be checking them. Right yeah, ahead. so and that's the point. That's why we did this video. Yeah. Um, that's that's the whole purpose is to let you know sure that... we're not the only ones out there that didn't know you should yeah. check the tightness of the clamps. So just open your breaker box. Give it a little jiggle, yeah. all your breakers. Make sure that they're tight. Um, mm -hmm. Push them back into that breaker bar if they're not tight. Um, just kind of give it a listen. If you hear any like zapping or like see sparks flying Sorry. out like we saw on ours, <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, we hope that this helps you if you have this issue. And we're glad that we found it while we were home. Yeah. Because it's early in the season. We just started using the bedroom air conditioner and so it probably in the off season rattled loose we had no idea just so there's no telling how long it's actually been loose it's just first time we started using this so now we've identified it but anyway hope it helped and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help vets everything you need to know it's right down in the description yep. below thanks again mel we appreciate you <laughs> and we appreciate all of you watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye.